Hello everyone, I'm here today with a new process video and I am working in my TN that features the books I read and the book that I am scrapping today is called The Bar Harbor Retirement Home for Famous Writers and Their Muses. So it's a very long title and this book was interesting. I like reading stories about bookshops, writers, people who love to read that kind of thing. And so this literally is about a retirement home where everybody who lives there either is a writer, was a writer, involved in writing in some way. And it was quite interesting. It wasn't quite what I expected, but it was interesting. And this was a book that I actually read while I'm talking here. I'm going to get my TN ready. I read it on my trip to Europe in March. I went in early March. So I was there right before the whole coronavirus thing kind of went wild. That was an interesting experience in itself. And so I started it on the plane. On the way over, it was an audiobook, So that was perfect. I had my iPad with me so I could just listen to it on there. I did several hours in the plane. So of course, that's like an eight-hour flight. And then I just listened a little bit every night, pretty much. I didn't really go out at night because I was traveling alone, big cities, you know, just to be careful. I don't tend to stay out late when I travel alone. And so I listened a little bit every night, you know, before bed, listened more on the flight back, and I actually finished it the day after I got home. So it was perfect timing for me to read that book. I don't have anything picked out for this yet, but I have pulled out my bag here of all things that are reading related and because it's about writers and there's books in the background I'm tempted to use something that has books but I don't want to overwhelm it so I really need to look through there and see what I have. I am also willing to just use a more subtle background because look at how many different colors are in there. Hopefully the camera's picking that up well. It's a lot so I really have a lot of choices that I could do so I'm open to pretty much anything. Well, unfortunately, I didn't find anything in there that I thought looked good with this. So, plan B. I have pulled out all of my green scraps because I do like that green chair that's featured. So I'm going to look through there to see if there's anything the right color and the right size that I could use. And then I also keep this bag of stuff. It even says scraps for TNs. So a lot of these were from TN kits or things that I cut down to be relatively the right size, which is generally 4 by 8 I use the standard size, so it's about four by eight. So I'm going to look through there as well and just see if there's anything I can find that will match. All right, so I pulled out all of those papers and at first I was thinking maybe this one because it's lighter and I could maybe work the journaling around it, but I don't really like how that looks. Then I found this one and it has this on the other side, which totally doesn't match. But this one, look at that. That's pretty perfect, I think. I obviously will have to mat with a white border to make it stand out, but I really like the background a lot. I will cut that down so that it will fit in here and then I'm good to go. So I changed my mind a little bit. When I was looking at this paper, it is still quite busy and I decided to cut this widthwise at two and a half, or no, not two and a half, two and a quarter, two and a quarter inches. And I will use it like that. I still need to cut off the bottom. But I think what I'm going to do is rather than mat this in white, I'll either leave it as is, or I may try to find there's kind of a dark pink color in there that maybe I could get away with. I might try to find that and mat it so that it stands out more from the white. But I plan to kind of overlap it like so, I think, because then I could still embellish here, really anywhere along here, and I can fit my journaling in the area that's left as white. All right, I've changed my mind again. <laughs> a woman has the right to change her mind. So I'm actually gonna cut this down a little bit more widthwise, and then I'm going to put a strip of this next to it so that I have both under there because I really like those colors together. So I will cut them both widthwise to fit and lengthwise. Now I'm ready to adhere my papers. I ended up cutting this down to one and three quarters. And then I have this one that's gonna go next. That's a half inch. And now I can adhere them. And I want this pretty much as close to the rounded corners as I can get because I don't want to give up. I just want to make sure I'm aligning it correctly here. I don't want to give up a 
a lot of journaling space here. I want to be able to leave as much as I can. So if I do this, let's see. That still will leave me a good amount of space. If I make my lines pretty close together and write fairly small, I think it'll work. All right, so here I have it with my papers attached and I put the photo on pretty close to the top because again, I want to have a good amount of journaling space if I can. I could even start up here if I wanted to. Now I have to figure out what do I want to do down here. I can't go too crazy because I've got a wild pattern, but hopefully I can find some things that work in the colors I have here and we'll just see what happens. When I was going through my stash of embellishments, I found these and I have this one that says just finished and it's not a perfect color match. Where's the opening? There it is. It's not a perfect color match, but it's, it's fairly close, I think. So I'm going to take that one out of there. It's a very kind of dusky, dusky pink. Whoops. There we go. So I think, yeah, that's pretty good. Pretty close match to those books on the shelves. So I think maybe I'll kind of do it over here towards the left because I wouldn't want to overlap it. That's too close. But if I put it over there, that's good. And then if I could find some phrases, maybe phrase labels or something to do with writing or reading, embellishment, something that I could kind of tuck under there maybe, that might be really all it needs in addition to the journaling. So I actually found a sticker that I want to use here. I pulled out some of my travel stuff because I thought, well, you know, I was reading it while I was on vacation. And I like this sticker. It's got a green plane, so it matches this here. And then it's got navy in the background, which matches this. So that's pretty perfect. So I think I'm actually going to take that and just overlap this a tiny bit down here. Actually, let's peel this off right now. And figure out how I want to align it. If I want this, I think that would look good, kind of overlapping the pink. Then I could maybe kind of go like that. And then I'm not sure exactly what I would write. Maybe I don't need to write anything. Maybe I can just do that and do a star or something small in there. But I kind of like the way they look overlapped. On one of the other sheets that was in here, I had these suitcases down here, and I decided to use one of those as well. Again, going with the reading while traveling theme. So I think I want to kind of overlap as well like that, and then I don't have to do anything in that white area if I don't want to. Do I want this up here or down here? I think like that. All right, now I trust myself to put a glue dot on that and really stick it down for good. So I have a sticker book that's part of that same line of what I was using before, just simple stories, and it's called Going Places. And on there, they have a whole page of word stickers, and one of them says vacay in white. And I thought that was appropriate since this was a vacation read. So I'm just going to do it like that. And it also helps kind of bring in that white that's over here so this doesn't look quite so dark, I don't think. So then I've got a little white there, a little there, and I'm really pleased with that. That might be all I need. I'm going to make some lines for my journaling and see how I feel. All right, so I took an old Zig Millennium pen I had. This is an 01, so it's quite fine tip. And I made my journaling lines. And I think those are good. I did notice they started getting a little bit off at the bottom a little bit I must not have been holding the paper strip straight that I was using because it's slightly going upward but I think once I journal you won't really notice it but otherwise I think this one is done it didn't need a whole lot and I love the color combination that I ended up with so I'm happy with it another one done in my TN about books read and review thanks for watching